Hey there, I'm Chrissy Chin, and I'm gonna walk you through how to create your Google Analytics account so you can start tracking the data on your website. Search Google Analytics in your Chrome bar and hit enter. This is gonna take you right to the Google Analytics page and go ahead and click the button, get started today. Enter an account name so you can put your business name in here and then scroll down and decide what you want emails about. So this is just setting up the settings in your account. Property details. This is going to be what you want to be tracking. So you can put website in there for tracking the website. Be sure to select your time zone and then what currency you're in and click next. Finish selecting the information on the setup. So pick what business you have, what size it is. And then here's where you can select what kind of data you wanna be collecting. So you can either get a baseline report. So you select either this one and it will give you some baseline information or you can select any of the four above. But if you select baseline reports, it eliminates the other ones and just gives you baseline. It basically gives you the same information. It is just organized a little bit differently. When you select the top four boxes, this is what it looks like in terms of following your analytics. So they're just organized a little bit differently than the baseline. So go ahead and decide what you want to do. You can always change this later if you want to start with get baseline reports. So we're going to create this and I'm going to accept the terms. I can't tell you to do that, but that's what I'm going to do to move forward in this process. And then I'm gonna select what I want to, the platform that I wanna choose. So since we're looking at the website, we're gonna select website. And then you're gonna put the URL in here. It's already putting the HTTPS, so make sure that your website is uh, valid, valid with that. And then type in your website and then title it and I'm, always, I'm going to put website in there so again I can see that it's there and then this is going to be measuring page views, scrolls, outbound, clicks, site search, video engagement, file download, form interactions. So you can remove some of these if you want or keep them all and we're going to create the stream. And then here is where we get, so oh, it's auto putting me over to the code. So for some website platforms, you will need to copy this code and put that on the header of your website page, unless you have third party integrations and it integrates directly with Google Analytics. So you can usually look on your website hosting platform in the settings to see if it integrates with Google Analytics. And in that case, typically you just need the measurement ID. Right here, you'll copy and paste this into your third party tracking and then it will automatically link up. And again, if not, you can embed that code before to your home page on your header or the pages that you wanna track on the header. Note that it will take about 48 hours to get everything set up and tracking. So if you come back to your Google Analytics an hour later and there's not any tracking, don't worry. But if in 48 hours you check back and there isn't data, make sure you double check how you've got it integrated into your website for tracking. And if you want to add more streams and ways to follow, you can click back into this main area and then add a stream and you could add another website. So yes, we wanna create another website stream and you would just add your website here, the name and create the stream and then it will be listed in your list right here. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you can get more tech tutorials to learn how to launch, grow and automate your online business.